Hello guys, this is Modasser Ali, one of the Enterprise DNA Expert member. And in this video, I'll show you another use case of calculation groups. So the, the problem was posted on the forum and the member was trying to achieve this type of visualization where he wanted to split plant cost and mining cost differently on a donor chart. So if we go and have a look at the query, so we can see that this is a, this is the data available. We have projects, overall cost, plant cost and mining cost. And he is looking to have a donor chart so he can split the percentages between mining and plant cost which is I think pretty simple to achieve. For example, you can go and create a measure for mining cost and plant cost, and you can bring those measures in the value section. This is quite easy, but uh, what if you also want to have these mining and plant cost in a slicer? So for this, you have to create a calculated column or a custom column in Power Query. But uh, the problem was uh, the member wasn't looking to unpivot the data because of a substantial backend of data. So he, he was looking for some alternative solution to, uh, to get a slicer on the page also along with the donor chart. So if we go in here and we go to our table, this is our data, going to Power Query. So he wasn't looking to unpivot the columns like this. So we can have like a different category column, which we can use and apply it on a donut chart and also use it on a slicer. So if uh, we cannot use this uh, custom column, then how we can do it? Yes, you can definitely avoid unpivoting columns with the help of calculation groups. So for this, what you have to do, you have to go to external tools, you have to go to tabular editor, and then you have to go to tables, right click, create new calculation group, and I will name it as calculation group. And you have to create two calculation items. So first one, we will call it as plant cost. And what we can do, we can bring in a plant cost measure. And then we will create another calculation item, name it as mining cost. And now we will create, uh, okay, save our changes, refresh the page in Power BI desktop. And we will try to create a new donor chart with the help of calculation groups. We will bring in overall cost in value section and our calculation group in the legend section. We have a problem. We can go back and check. Okay, so there is no, no measure in plant cost. So what we have to do, we have to bring in our measure, click OK. And now you can see plant cost is 66.9% of the overall cost and mining cost is 33.1% of the overall cost. We can also check our results. Plant cost is 66.9% and mining cost is 33.1%. And now we can also bring in plant cost and mining cost as our slicers on the report page. Now, if you have 
more visualizations on in your in your in your report then you can use this slicer and can slice a dice the result with the help of calculation groups yeah this was it and i think you like this video so please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for my next video